Hello guys, welcome back to the next video vlog here. We have left the port of Dakar, Senegal, like I predicted in the last video before I woke up, which was good. I uh, woke up and we were past at sea. We're gonna head up to Cape Verde, uh, where we will be dropping off our four-man security team who rides along with us for extra security in the high-risk waters. Uh, it's good to have those guys. We have Trident guys with us, four of them, uh, armed security. So we're gonna be dropping them off and everything tomorrow. And then we'll head straight across to uh, Kingston, Jamaica. And then we'll head over to Mexico, Veracruz, before going back to Texas where we get off the ships. So just out here doing a little bit of projects today. We like to tie up all our loose ends before we get off the ship. So we're going to be doing a lot of that stuff the next couple weeks. Uh, I just put a coat of white paint. Remember the other video? I made a new bracket right here for this box. So I just I primed it before. I just put a coat of paint on it today. And a couple of other of the welding projects that we've been doing around the deck, I'm just gonna throw some white paint on them. Nobody's really had any time to do that the last couple days. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna do that. It's a beautiful day out here. We'll be in Cape Verde, I think sometime early tomorrow. So I'll do a short vlog again on the crossing. Uh, it shouldn't be too eventful. We're, like I say, we're just going to try to keep everything maintained that we've done while we've been out here. So that when we turn all the ship over to the next group, it'll be all nice and beautiful, ready for them to go. So I'm just going to continue with this real quick. And then uh, we'll finish the rest of the day out, out here on the deck. And then uh, that'll be about it for today. This morning when I woke up, we're off the coast of one of the beautiful islands here in Cabo Verde. This is where we'll be dropping off our security team this morning. It's really cloudy, but at least you can see. It's a beautiful place to sail through. Cabo Verde. is Cape Verde, but I believe they just used the Portuguese name for it. Beautiful, beautiful over here, guys. Man, the mountains, you can see the sun reflecting off. I know the video isn't gonna do it justice, but it's beautiful. First thing in the morning to look at this.
think this area here is Alto de Sal. I think that's the name of this area here. If anybody knows, please let me know. That little uh, piece right there is just beautiful, right in the middle there. The mountain is just beautiful in the morning. guys I'm in the elevator control room here and one of the projects we're working on right now is there's a little AC unit in here a small portable one uh, right here that we're gonna install right here this is a new bracket that we made last week and welded in place but it's got a discharge to this little area here so I'm measuring this outside of this you know this little flex tube here so we can make a new uh, plate over here and we might have to plasma cut something with a circle weld a circle to connect that tube because this what's in there now is no good water gets in so we're gonna make it watertight and probably weld a whole new plate from the outside so right here we're gonna remove this rusty plate here and remove the, the, the parts that aren't good and then we're just gonna weld a new flat plate we'll use the plasma cutter to cut a circle in it and then a piece of pipe about the same size, we'll have it come out the backside to connect that tube on, that flexible hose with like a hose clamp or something. And it'll be all good, it'll be watertight that way. So what we do, for those of you that don't know, to check the outside of a pipe, we don't, we don't know what size it is or what we need. We just use a tool like this, an outside feeler. You open it up or close it, put it around the outside of a pipe or a, anything round or anything. And then when you get done, you just measure the distance between with your tape measure, whatever you have, and then we know. So I know this is the size of it now. We go down and look for a piece of pipe that's that same dimension, cut a short piece of it, which, which will be welded to the flat plate that we're gonna make, and we'll cut a hole in it with the plasma cutter, and then we'll have to install it. We're gonna try to get everything prepped up and then install and weld everything in one day. That's what we usually do. Get all the prep for the jobs, fabrication done, and then we go and do a welding day like we did before. All right, guys, so another project we're working on here is there's some push buttons here. It's a couple units. We just have it tied off so that it's not dangling by the wires. And the controller box is good. The box is in very good shape. However, the standoffs that were on the back were eroded, you know, getting rusty and really weak. So we removed them, grinded them down. And here's the other box. You can see here how they're just a little rusty. So we're gonna clean that up. They're gonna be totally removed. And I already made new ones. And as soon as we get done grinding smooth, we'll do a hot work, you know, authorization, everything for tomorrow or Monday actually. And then we'll come back and I'll weld my four new ones here. Well, I'll weld them to the box first and then I'll weld them up here. And then that'll be done. That'll be another job done. And then we can just install these push buttons back inside the box with new screws. So that's another project we're working on right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful day back here. And it was really beautiful this morning in Cabo Verde. All right 
right, guys. So anyway, so it's Sunday now, one day later, and the rumor was we were going to have a barbecue today on deck. And I wasn't thinking we were going to do it, but I looked up there today. They're, they got the tables all set out there for that, and they were cleaning up. So I think we're going to have a barbecue today. So I will try to show you a little bit of that. And the setup up there looks like they got a, I think it's called cornhole game set up with the, you throw the bags to the hole. Uh, so they'll play that as well. But yeah, looks like they're going to cook on deck today. So I'll try to get a little footage of that a little bit later. That'd be night, uh, not night time, but dinner time, 1630 to 1730 ish. So, uh, but right now it's almost lunchtime. So I'm going to go have lunch soon. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out here in the crossing day number one. So far it's pretty smooth. We'll be in Jamaica before you know it and then Mexico and back in the States. So yeah, I'll, we'll take a look at the barbecue a little bit later. They're enjoying the game already. Not very good. Need a little bit more practice. Everybody's eating outside. Chicken and steak. Playing a little bit of cornhole now. They set up a tournament or something, like an elimination tournament with teams. Captain. That's our captain with the white shirt on. There we go! So everybody's enjoying the barbecue. I'm going to go back in and just relax inside. I'm in the middle of watching a, a movie right now. So I like to just relax. Somebody must have scored. I heard everybody shouting. But uh, yeah, I like to relax inside by myself. It's more relaxing to me. But uh, the food was good. I had some uh, boneless skinless grilled chicken. It was actually really delicious. So kudos to the, the chefs on the ship for that. It was really good. But I'm going to go down and just relax for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow will be another week. And after the next week, we should be almost done with this crossing and in Jamaica. So we'll pick up on the vlog tomorrow. All right, guys, it's a beautiful evening out here. End of another work day. Just sharing a little bit of the full moonrise here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean tonight. Yeah, beautiful evening out here. And just off to my right, I can't really show what the camera is, the constellation of Scorpio right up in the sky. So time to go in, have a shower and relax for the evening. Guys, the next couple days we're going to be sailing in the Caribbean here. And just off our starboard, you can see is a rainstorm right here. I'm actually starting to feel a few raindrops myself. Starboard bridge wing, but everything else has been blue and beautiful today. Beautiful day here. Just a small little rainstorm right there. All right, guys, we have arrived now in our next port here, Kingston, Jamaica. We're probably not going to be here real long. We're going to be doing some bunkering, which is uh, fueling the ship. And I don't think much cargo. The time we spend here is going to be determined by how long it takes us to the fuel, pretty much. So it'll be a quick port stay here. But it's uh, first thing in the morning here. There's another car carrier up there.
like our first lines are going ashore now. I guess those would probably be the forward spring lines. And back there you can see in the orange color, I guess they're waiting for the stern lines to go out as well. We're getting even closer to the sunrise over the mountain here. So you guys know me, I'm ready to take some pictures. All right guys, so it's a bright, warm, sunny day out here. Kingston, Jamaica still. We're bunkering. We're about halfway through, so we're doing really good. We should be out of here by 1900 hours, which is 7 p.m. Uh, beautiful day, as you see. But uh, I'll show a little more after we get done bunker. And I just had a uh, lunch. You know, we relieve each other so everybody can cycle out and eat. So I'm gonna head back down, and we should be done in another couple hours, and then we're gonna get out of here. So we'll be gone soon and head up to Mexico. All right, guys. So we have just finished our bunkering ops. It is 1500. We got done a little bit quicker than I thought. That's a good thing. We got a little bit better rate than. I thought they were going to send it to us. So it's good. I'll show another view here of the mountains. Really beautiful day here. And then I'll show you on the other side real quick. A uh, couple more hours, so we should be getting out of here and headed up to Mexico. So there you go. This morning it was hard to show. The sun was just coming up. You can see a little better here. Looks like a little town over there. But sadly, we didn't get to go anywhere short port stay and we were bunkering so we didn't have a chance to get off the ship gotta go in a little closer here sorry for the movement i got a lot of wind behind me and there is the jamaican flag flying we still have our bravo flag there because we were bunkering so we're looking out here that's when we leave we'll be heading out that way it's a beautiful day out here nice warm day but it's not overly hot a couple other ships here in port it's a nice big APL container ship here goes our bunker barge they're leaving now after we finished, I came up here to cool off and uh, the guys went out and untied uh, the mooring lines holding them to us. And now they're leaving. There's the gentleman right there on the bridge wing. Guys on the bunkering tanker here were really nice nice gentlemen a very pleasant experience so all in all it was a very smooth bunker up really nice so there they go by too. We're on the east side of the island, Kingston. I know Montego Bay is on the other side. There must be an airport right over there. Looks like the airplane getting ready to land. It's starting to do its flare. Beautiful shot. Here's another good shot, guys. So I walked up forward. All the way on the bow here. Just scenic really with the mountains in the background and the clouds just above. Actually very scenic. Peaceful to look at. It looks like there could possibly be a little bit of storms in the area over here. And there's another car carrier 
in front of us. And if you look way up there, past those two cranes, you can actually see some rainfall back there. I don't know what looks to be maybe a couple miles away. I don't know. Maybe seven or eight kilometers away from here. All right, guys, one more look at the Jamaican flag waving there. It's a beautiful evening out here. We are getting ready to go in just a few moments. Take one last look here in Kingston. And the other three ships are still over there that were there this morning. They'll still be there a little longer. Loading containers. A beautiful evening. Sun has gone down. All right, guys. So, like I've told you a couple times, uh, we're getting out of here for just a few minutes. We're at the end of the voyage here. We've been all over the place. We've been everywhere. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy these vlog-style videos too. I try to do the best I can. A lot of times we're just really, really busy. It's hard. Sometimes I can't record. Some days I'm just really busy. And then you come back and you record a little bit more and then it's hard to piece it together, you know, for the flow of the video, it just doesn't seem right. But, but anyway, just vlog style. Just trying to share the adventure a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoy that. What I'm trying to do, just share the adventure. A little bit of life at sea, especially for you guys that are maybe interested in the career. Uh, just to see what it's like out here. But uh, yeah, I'll try to get a little more footage when we leave here. I think uh, we'll do one more vlog before I get off, uh, which will probably be maybe coming to, leaving and in port in Veracruz, Mexico. Really looking forward to that. And then uh, that'll be the last one. Maybe I'll do a traveling home vlog as well. And a lot of exciting things coming to. Plan to go to Brazil. Definitely gonna make a lot more video there um, that I'll be posting, a lot of it on the other channel. So look forward for that too, and then eventually we'll be back on another ship, hopefully going back over to Europe again. I'd like to get uh, back on a container ship, going back to Europe is my plan, I hope. hope I can find one, and that'd be awesome. And hopefully I can see you, Holger, over in Bremerhaven. And uh, I'll try to get a little more footage before we leave here. I think tomorrow we're having another picnic, so maybe I can get a little footage there as well for the next video. And. Uh, so we're going to leave here just in a few more minutes and then we'll close this vlog after that. All right guys, here comes our tugboat, the stern one and another one on the bow. All right guys, so we've left the port of Kingston, Jamaica. We're heading up to Mexico now. This is, uh, I know it's not a perfectly clear shot here. It's a little distance. I'm trying to zoom in at night, it's not easy. But that's the port we're leaving behind. A couple more days, we'll find ourselves up in Mexico. It's about bedtime now, so I'm gonna head to bed in just a few more minutes. Well, let's get about wrap up another one. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, vlog ending in Kingston, Jamaica yesterday. Um, we're heading to Mexico now, we're on our way. We'll be there in a couple more days, but if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, and I'll be back real soon with some more videos. I'm so done with